how did you end up linking with Gunplay? I was I was trying to figure out you was hanging with Rick Ross and Gunplay and them down there some kind of way? Nah, um I was like the Nate Dog of Florida. Boss talk one-on-one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Let me ask you about the rap. You brought it up a little bit, so let's get into it. I seen you, man. I seen you. Not only on rap, it seemed almost R and B ish. She don't know me. She ain't gotta show that body. But baby, don't hurt no. Yeah, RG, you know rhythm yeah. gangsta. R yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, never I, was heard like, that way. I said, damn, he going in. Because at first I looked at it and I seen gunplay on there. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, he better go in. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Then when I listened to it, we started listening. I just let it play and because it kept going after you put it and on the playlist. It's always about the ladies. Yeah, so of course. what what <laughs> um how did you how did you end up linking with gunplay? I was I was trying to figure it out. You was hanging with Rick Ross and Gunplay and them down there some kind of way? Nah. Um I was like the Nate Dog of Florida. Okay. So I was a street dude, but I sang. So mm -hmm. all the hooks. With Iceberg and Briscoe and you know what I mean anybody had something coming out Tom G all the different Florida rappers uh, Papa Duck you know I was the guy that was getting hooks and you know Go singing in. about the gangster shit yeah 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 and so, that, so did you how long did you do that though cause I, I, when I looked it was like in 2010 or something mm -hmm. like that so how long did you stay in I that? got signed in 2010 to Slip and Slide Records but before okay, I okay Slip I was and Slide a, yeah Ted Lucas shout out to my big Already. homie Ted Lucas, give me a, and, and Julian and Milk, all them guys down there. But yeah, that was my family. I signed with them in 2010. But I had been doing it because I was, you know, I was hustling before yeah. that, and I had got a name in the state. And they came up to Mobile, you know, what I'm saying from Miami, and I drove from Pensacola and performed in front of them, in front of the crowd. And it was like, oh yeah, fly down to Miami tomorrow. I flew down to Miami. But the, the the contract at the time, I was, you know, getting street money. And they was trying to give me this contract, and I'm like. Phew. <laughs> Not much. That's country wine. I ain't that, doing that, this that, shit. <laughs> you see that on the skits. I was like, yeah, I, this ain't gonna work. So I didn't sign, but then, you know, man, when my mom transitioned, I just, like, lost myself. A lot and of how old were too. you when she transitioned? 29. Yeah, I was about young. 23. 29. I, my, my place got, my both my businesses got repoed, my townhouse got... I got evicted. I had like my credits. Everything went. Cause I stopped mm -hmm. living. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I was homeless yeah. before I knew it. And then uh, when I called, I was trying to get back on my feet, trying to get back moving again. Once you know, after about a year or two. And then um, the guy I called, the DJ I called, he was like, "Yo, DJ Smalls." Like, okay, yeah, DJ Smalls. Shout Smalls. out DJ Smalls. Shout out DJ Smalls. He don't even know, but that conversation we had. He was like, he changed my life because he was like, man, I said, little, I'm, 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 I'm about to get it going. Not mind you, I'm broke. I'm living yeah. in a 97 Toyota Corolla. This, I'm thinking I'm hiding it. The city don't ain't got no damn money. <laughs> I'm like, what's up, y'all? They like, man, little broke ass <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike coming. <laughs> <laughs> the Eddie Kane. That's it. Thought I was killing him. I think like, they don't know. They knew. And he was like, man, Mike, I was trying to get him to do a mixtape for me for free because I ain't had no money. I said, bro, I need you to host a mixtape for me. I'm going to jump back out of here. He's like, Mike. And I told him my real situation. He's like, bro, you ain't got the money to push this mixtape. If I do it for you, you can't be out here selling CDs by yourself. It's, that's not, it's not like, ain't going to work. Uh -uh. He was like, you need to cost them a slide and see if they still want to sign you and take the deal. So that's what I did. Damn. Roy Jones Jr. I had a you know I had a case. Shout out Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones, that's my bro, man. That's one of my first mentors in the in the, in the entertainment How'd industry. How did you and him meet? Man, when I got to Florida, did I skip, a, did I skip something we should for to go into that I needed to go into? Mm. No, I want to hear about Roy Jones, man. Oh, yeah. you, I'm man. a big Roy Jones fan. I, uh, I, I at his at his just pinnacle of where mm. he was at, man. I'd have put him up against anybody in his weight class, and I was gonna ride with him. He a dog. <laughs> Roy is a different human being. I yeah. thought I was a tough that month. Wasn't Roy Jones like Jamaican or part Jamaican or something? Oh, like here we go. Man, why do we do this, man? Every episode. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, right saying, one. He I'm part rooster. Saying. He be hanging with what the G. Yeah, he part rooster <laughs> alligator. <laughs> there you go. I got some stories about Roy, man. Roy ain't no punk. How'd like, you meet him? Um, I met Roy. How did I meet them? I, I started coming around when I moved to Florida, coming around the label. They had body head, and I was like, you know, I, I was like, yo. I was carrying bags. I just wanted to be a part of it. And Roy, he took to my honesty. 
You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Wayne. Like, you know, when you got a guy that's taking care of everybody, people tend to just, they always kissing their ass, telling yeah, them what they want yeah, to hear. Yeah. And I would, I told Roy something one time that I ain't, I ain't going to share, but something I had disagreed with that happened. And I wasn't, like, trying to check him or nothing because I was a little bro. Yeah. But he peeped that. You know what I'm saying? And I remember... He just he just took to me, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. He really liked me, and I and I learned so much from him. He was a he was a good dude, man. Um, took me on the road with him. Wow. Yeah, good, real good dude. So you was at a lot of those fights. I didn't go to a lot of the fights. I was on the uh, you was head. on the body head, body head, head. That, that, uh, uh, must have smoke. forgotten all that. Yeah, I was on the videos. Wow, I gotta go back, man. I gotta Not get way in the back. I'm <laughs> <gonna>. <laughs> You ain't gonna see me. I'm gonna die. Might get him back like, yeah, man. I'm, I'm in one of the hands in the shadow. Already. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, like, um, when you when you get, for how did you meet Country Wayne? I got to get into that too. And and hold on, what did you want to do as a kid growing up? Is this because you went from martial arts lot. to boxing to um, rapping to like, what is it that you wanted to do? Entertainer. Just just entertainer. entertainer. I'm got like, it. Sammy Davis so you've Jr. always wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. I was a kid. I just wanted to be a famous singer. I just wanted to be a. I wanted to be an actor. You still salty about the arm, my dear, right? You done? Slim, listen. I'm just asking for some respect, brother. That's all, man. You think you're the only killer around here? I want to put you on a t-shirt. I wanted to be. I just want to entertain. Because it was different back in the days than it is now. Like back in the days, people only wanted to be like a, a actor or mm -hmm. a singer or this. Now it's like. You have to be an artist, which is everything all in one. Now. That's it. Yeah. So it's different. Yep. So the can I get into the go country ahead, one question? But let me say this. Go that's ahead, go why ahead, go ahead. When I went and saw Ted, he told me he said, "Mike, when I signed you, I knew you was a star." Wow. I just didn't know what to do with you because you did too much. You did too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a guy like that. I love him. I don't know what you. He's like <laughs> you telling jokes on your page, then you singing, then you rapping, then you. Boxing, the, he's like, I knew you was a star, but he said, bro, I didn't know what to do with you. Mm -hmm. Damn. So, like, the time now is my, it's like, everything is coming just to, to full, full circle, circle because right. it's like, oh, now this is, this fits in. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.